Hi friends, welcome to Aisha DIY. Today we will make some Christmas ornaments. I have here some bracelet size memory wire. I bought this from Fire Mountain and Gems. And uh, the pack says it's 1.75 inch, 0.7 millimeter um, memory wire thing. So we need that. You can use the bracelet size or any size of memory wire that you have. Um, so depending upon how big your ornament will be and some ring uh, memory wires so i have here some um, ring memory wires that also we will need and then uh, then you can have you can have any additional stuff for hanging and um, i shall use i have some reindeer let me see. There you go. So I have this cute reindeer charm that I bought from, um, I think it's a beatbox bargains, bargain beatbox, or um, I don't know. So this is a reindeer charm. You can put any Christmas charm you want. So that also we will need. And that's all. We'll start making our. Um, First, we will make this ring thingy. So, first of all, so there is already a little bit thing cut off from my memory wire. So, this is perfect. All I need to do is there is, um, I think, you need to cut around five to six loops depending upon how much big you want your um, dangle to be. You just um, push the memory wire out. And then you'll get this shape. So that's what you're looking for. I'm stretching it out and getting the shape. So I like this one. But um, I don't want this big one. For memory wire, you need to use memory wire shears. And not use a regular pliers. So you will have memory wire cutters. So... So I'm just going to cut a little bit. Of memory wire here. There we go. So this is for the dangle part. And I'm going to stretch a little bit more. And this is for the top hook part. So I'm just opening this and forming it into an S shaped thing. So just like that, so that it's easy for you to hang um, this in the tray. So once you're happy with that, you take your round nose pliers and then make a loop. Memory wire is a little bit hard to work with, so you need to put force to actually make the loop. There we go. The loop is ready. And this is uh, what we use to hang this thing for the in the tree. So then what we are going to do is this um, loopy thing. I'm just going to make a loop here too. So that our beads don't fall off. Make sure your loop is closed. And then you can start stringing in your beads. So I have here some assortment of beads. Some 4mm bicones in green and red color. And some 6mm faceted matte red color beads. And some 8mm bright red. And some mixes of white, gold and tan color. Seed bead mix. These are six sort seed beads and a jump ring. So, first of all, you can decide a pattern. It's totally up to you. So, I'm just going to start with a red color crystal. And a gold color seed bead. 
it's totally up to you what color you want to and then a white and then probably a green crystal and then a red so I'll put this and then again a green crystal white gold and then a red crystal so you can follow any pattern you want um, you can thread it and see if you like it or you can change the pattern I like it so I'm just going to put it down here all the way here and then you can also add seed beads to it just to have a little bit more variety or you don't have to it's totally up to you I am just thinking that I'll add some more seed beads which is really red in color these are lavino seed beads I think I have some black mixed in so I'm thinking should I just put seed beads every other bead that way it will look nice or I can just um, make one pattern like this and some seed beads gold I like the gold and I put the tan by mistake so just need to take that off You can just put this just hold it like this and everything will come down and I really like this this one it looks very pretty and then you can uh, keep it in the opposite direction and it will be easy for you to thread the beads one two three these are eleven o check classy beads and a gold it's fun to play with these things and two three and four you can literally use up any beads that you have left over with this design with this tangle and you can make several tangles for your christmas tree and it will glitter in the sun with the lights it will pop up it's a very nice look one more we can put clear and see if it looks good it does because when the sun shines through the clear that will look really nice so we can put one clear and then I'm putting four seed beads no rhyme or reason, just I feel like putting four 
so I'm putting it you can put any number of seed beads and any number of six sword or you can even put a crystal in between so I'm just doing this pattern you can do any pattern you want it's totally customizable you can also use alphabet beads and you can write the kids name in it and then um, put this in the Christmas tree ask them to put it once you make the loop you cut the memory wire and give it to them they can also thread these these are pretty grid friendly just make sure that they are six years and above so that they know it's pokey and they need to be careful with it so here we go we have three golden sea beads okay one more So three, yes, okay. And then we can follow the pattern one more time. One red crystal, one gold, one white. And then instead of this red, I'm gonna put the big one, I think. Let me try, yeah. Why not? So then I didn't put any green here. Should I have to? Okay. Let's put the green. The big red, the green. A white and gold. So let's see. There we go. So around here it comes again. So it just wherever it looks, I mean it turns, you will get to look at the pretty color. So that's a very good thing. One, two, three, four. Okay. And then a gold. One, two, three, four. then there is four seed beads and then one gold six or seed beads then we are going to put again four seed beads i'll finish up the loop and come back <laughs> 